Everyone in Africa and even around the world know of the black mamba. It is a feared and notorious creature, but few people actually know the truth about these remarkable animals. Here are some things you should know that may make you think differently about them. Black mambas are simply awesome animals. They truly are one of the icons of Africa. They really are majestic and demand a lot of respect, not fear. It's one of my favorite animals, and I just think that they are amazing. I love them, and I hope more people can do too. Black mambas live in the savannas and rocky hills of southern and eastern Africa. They are Africans' longest snake, reaching up to 14 feet in length, although 8 feet is more the average size of a black mamba. The black mamba is rarely black in color. Its overall color is usually olive green, dark olive, grayish brown, light gray, or dark gray. The inside of the mouth is black. That is why it's called a black mamba. When threatened, the snake is quick to draw back into a striking position, may form a narrow hood, and opens the mouth to expose the interior. Just two drops of potent black mamba venom can kill its victim in seconds. The venom of a black mamba contains neurotoxic. The venom is fast acting. It shuts down the nervous system and paralyzes victims. Black mambas typically eat small mammals and birds. Black mambas hunt by biting their prey and ejecting venom, then releasing it. Black mambas eat their food whole. They have flexible jaws that they can dislocate in order to fit food up to four times its size of their head into their mouth. Black mambas usually mate during the spring and summer. Males fight for the affection of females. After mating, females lay between 6 to 25 eggs in a damp, warm burrow. The female black mambas leaves their eggs and never sees them again. Babies hatch about 3 months later and are born measuring between 16 to 24 inches. The baby's venom is as toxic as their parents. So as you can see, black mambas serve a purpose on this planet. Like all animals, they help maintain a healthy ecosystem by keeping certain animal numbers in check. One other reason why these snakes deserve to be protected. The other three mamba species are all smaller and slightly less venomous than the black mamba, though they are still venomous. These mambas are all bright green. They are a boral species, live in trees. They are known to drop from branches onto their prey below. They are solitary snakes. The Jameson's mambas are found in wide range of habitats, which includes rainforests, savannas, woodlands, and also deforest areas. The Jameson's mamba is highly arboreal, quick, an extremely venomous snake that is endemic to Africa. The snake lives in Central and West Africa and some parts of East Africa. The Jameson's mamba average length of 5 to 7 feet, have a dull green colored dorsal surface and cream or yellowish colored ventral surface. These snakes have a narrow and long head with small eyes, feeds on birds and rodents. The venom of these snakes is a potent cocktail of neurotoxic, cardiotoxic, hemotoxic, and myotoxic venom. The Eastern Green Mamba is a highly venomous tree-dwelling large mamba snake which lives in southern East Africa. Adult females are longer than males and have an average length of 6 feet. These snakes prey on bats, birds, rodents, and eggs. Unlike other mamba species, the Eastern Green Mamba is shy and elusive in nature. 
The green color of these snakes easily camouflages them with the trees. The venom of the eastern green mamba is a potent neurotoxic which affects the nerves, muscles, and heart and triggers quick death to their victims. The western green mamba is a highly venomous mamba species which is found in the woodlands and coastal tropical rainforests of western Africa. The snake is highly a boreal species that can quickly move between trees to pursuit of prey. The snakes are long and slender bodied and the length of the mamba is between 4 to 6 feet long. They have neurotoxic and cardiotoxic in the venom of a western green mamba and can kill its prey with a single bite. The western green mambas have a nervous and aggressive nature that leads to quick snake bites when threatened. All of the venomous snakes I mentioned in my video are dangerous and some can deliver a deadly bite. In many places I discuss the calmless nature of certain species, but this does not mean you can or should handle these animals. The best way to observe a venomous snake in the wild is from a safe distance. I will see you soon with another video.